Let's talk about some jobs that you might qualify for if you had your Security Plus certification. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the jobs that CompTIA says that you might qualify for if you had your CompTIA Security Plus certification. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and check out some of these jobs, shall we? All right. So here are some of the jobs that CompTIA says that you might qualify for if you decide to go out there and get your CompTIA Security Plus certification. So we're going to be talking about a security specialist, system administrator, security administrator, network administrator, junior IT auditor, junior penetration tester, security analyst, and security engineer. And once again, this is coming straight from CompTIA. And this is what they say that you might qualify for if you got your Security Plus certification. Now, considering that I've been working in IT for 20 plus years, I got to put this disclaimer out there because you're going to see some salaries that are rather large on here. And if you are brand new to IT, this might not necessarily fit for you, but that doesn't mean that you can't work your way up to that. And once again, these salaries that you're going to be looking at, these are dependent upon the number of years and experience that you have in the profession, relevant industry certifications, formal education, and also any additional skills that employers may think is valuable. So keep that in consideration as I go through this list. All right. So the first job on our list is the security specialist, and they tend to have a salary range anywhere between 54 to 80,000. You might find yourself clocking in at about 65,000. And what these people do, they implement security measures to protect an organization's computer networks and systems. They secure data networks, intercept security breaches, and make changes to improve security. And some of the things that you might find yourself doing as a security specialist include the following. So you might be out there ensuring security updates are current across all systems systems, running network tests, creating patches or implementing new protocols, monitoring security administrations to ensure best practices, ensuring that all departments in your organization adhere to security protocols, analyzing network systems and structures, ensuring security tools are running properly, researching emerging threats and safeguards that can provide protection, protecting the digital systems of the company, developing systems for specialized security requirements based on specific needs, optimizing systems, presenting findings and studying devices and implementing best security protocols. That's the type of stuff that you might find yourself doing as a security specialist. Next job on our list is a systems administrator or a sys admin, and they make about sixty-four to eighty thousand. You might find yourself at around seventy-two thousand, and they install and configure software, hardware, networks, monitor system performance and troubleshoot issues, and they also ensure security and efficiency of all IT infrastructure. And a part of their daily routine consists of installing and configuring software and hardware, managing network servers and technology tools, setting up accounts and workstations, monitoring performance and maintaining systems according to requirements, troubleshooting issues and outages, ensuring security through access controls, backups and firewalls, upgrading systems with new releases and models, developing expertise to train the staff, and building an internal wiki with technical documentation manuals and IT policies. So these are some of the things you might find yourself doing as a systems administrator. Next, we have the security administrator, and they got a salary range of anywhere between 80,000 to 112,000 on average. You might find yourself pulling in around 93,000. And if you do, you're going to be installing, administrating, and troubleshooting in organization security solutions. You're also going to be writing security policies and training documents about security procedures. And while you're out there being the best security administrator that you can be, you're going to be defending systems against unauthorized access, modification and or destruction, scanning and assessing networks for vulnerabilities, monitoring network traffic, configuring supporting security tools such as firewalls, antivirus software and patch management, implementing network security policies, application security, access control and corporate data safeguards. You're also going to be out there training employees to tell 
tell them to stop clicking random links. You're going to be developing and updating business continuity and disaster recovery protocols. That's what they're going to be paying you the big bucks as if you get hired as a security administrator. Another job you could qualify for with just their security plus is a network administrator. And they tend to make around 61 to 76,000. You might find yourself pulling down about 68,000 and they support configure and maintain corporate networks and in-house servers. They install and integrate new server hardware and apps and continually monitor for necessary updates to ensure optimal network performance and security. And as a network administrator, you're going to find yourself out there setting up new networks, maintaining and upgrading existing computer networks, including hardware like VPNs and routers, troubleshooting flaws in software, hardware configurations and other equipment, updating and configuring virus protection software, monitoring and maximizing network performance, installing and configuring computer systems and network equipment, communicating updates and problems to other employees and management. Of course, you're going to be out there training new users. Users. You're also going to be out there determining an organization's software and hardware needs and evaluating the overall network performance. Those are some of the things you're going to find yourself doing as a network administrator. Next job you might find yourself qualifying for is that of a junior IT auditor. And they tend to make on average around fifty-nine dollars to $70,000. So you might find yourself pulling in sixty-four. dollars And they maintain the confidentiality of sensitive information while working with a variety of technologies, security problems, and troubleshooting of the network. And they also have to have a deep understanding of firewalls, VPN, data loss prevention, IDS, IPS, web proxies, and security audits. And when it's time for you to go clock in as a junior IT auditor, you're going to be examining internal IT controls, evaluating the design and operational effectiveness, determining exposures to risk, and developing remediation strategies. Of course, you're going to be out there troubleshooting a whole bunch of stuff. You're going to be out there responding to all system and or network security breaches, planning, implementing, monitoring, and upgrading security measures, participating in the change management process, testing and identifying network and system vulnerabilities, conducting efficient and effective IT audit procedures, performing regular audit testing and providing recommendations, reviewing a whole bunch of stuff and testing application controls, and providing recommendations and guidance on identified security and control risks. Those are some of the activities that you will be doing as a junior IT auditor. Next job you might qualify for is that of a junior penetration tester, and they make on average about sixty-two to seventy-eight thousand. You might find yourself making around seventy thousand, and you're going to be out there performing security assessments and penetration testing projects, identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities to quantify risk to an organization, and developing mitigation strategies for keeping clients safe. While you're out there being a junior penetration tester, you're going to be performing tests on applications, network devices, and cloud infrastructures, designing and conducting simulated social engineering attacks, researching and experimenting with different types of attacks, developing methodologies for penetration testing, reviewing code for security vulnerabilities. You might find yourself reverse engineering malware and spam. You're going to be documenting security and compliance issues, automating common testing techniques to improve efficiency, writing technical and executive reports, communicating all of that information to the people that sign your paychecks, and validating security improvements with additional testing. Those are some of the activities that you might find yourself doing as a junior penetration tester. Next job is that of a security analyst. And if you look at the salary range here, this is a pretty wide salary range of almost a hundred thousand dollars, or you could be making on the low end 45,000 to as high as possibly 143,000. So eventually over time, you might find yourself pulling down about 92,000 of those dollars. And if you do find yourself in this position, you're going to be identifying and correcting flaws in security systems, solutions, and programs while recommending specific measures that can improve a company's overall security posture. 
And when it's time for you to collect that 90 something thousand dollar paycheck, you're going to be out there updating existing security systems, creating disaster recovery plans, monitoring and implementing antivirus software, doing some penetration testing, creating various security policies, assessing existing computer systems for security issues, testing new softwares and technologies, conducting training programs for security programs and protocols, creating incident reports, upgrading data and security systems and assessing any security breaches and identifying vulnerabilities. That is what you might find yourself doing as a security analyst. And finally, we have the security engineer. They make anywhere on average between 81,000 to 113,000. You might find yourself bringing in 94,000 a year. And if you do find yourself in this position, you're going to be engineering, implementing, and monitoring security measures for the protection of computer systems, networking information, identifying and defining system security requirements, and designing computer security architecture, and developing detailed cybersecurity designs. And when it's time for you to clock in as the world's greatest security engineer, you're going to be engineering, implementing, and monitoring security measures for the protection of computer systems, networks, and information. You're going to be preparing and documenting SOPs and protocols, configuring and troubleshooting security infrastructure devices, developing technical solutions and new security tools to help mitigate security vulnerabilities, ensuring that the company knows as much as possible as quickly as possible about any and all security incidents. And you're going to be out there writing comprehensive reports, including assessment-based findings, outcomes, and propositions for further system security enhancements. So those are some of the things you're going to find yourself doing as the world's greatest security engineer. All right, folks, there you have it. These are some of the jobs that CompTIA says that you might qualify for if you decide to go out there and get your CompTIA Security Plus certification. For those of you out there who are still lost and confused on this, I highly recommend you hit the join button on my channel memberships because I actually teach this class, Security Plus, in addition to A Plus, Network Plus, and some other stuff as well. If you want to get into IT, and for those of y'all who want to work for a government contractor or any type of government position or whatever the case may be, there is like a 99% chance that you are going to have to have your Security Plus certification just to apply for the job. So if you're still out there riding the fence about this IT thing, I don't know what you're waiting on. You saw some of the jobs that you could be doing in addition to some of the salaries that you could be making. All you have to do is just invest some time into learning this material and you can get certified and you can possibly get hired. That's all you got to do. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. So if you like what you heard, hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And with that, I will holler at you all on the next video. So peace.